Hello and welcome. My name's uh, Graham from Anslow Electrical and today we're uh, installing the uh, ESP HD view 5 megapixel system. We're looking to do seven cameras in total uh, with a recorder, a monitor and some of the deep bases. So uh, yeah, if you can follow me, we'll uh, make a start. Hi, right now, so now we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, so I've got uh, a DVR, I've got in total seven cameras and four bases and a monitor. So um, we're just going to have a look now. Like I said, I've never seen these products, so see see what we can do. All right, I'll just unbox this, see what we got. We've got some instructions. Fixing kit. A bit more protective foam, another connector, and then we've got the camera itself. Nice solid well-built camera, we've got the two uh, connections there, one's the RJ45 connector, and then you've got the option uh, it takes for the uh, like a 12 volt, 12 volt DC, so yeah that looks good, you've got like a lock function at the bottom there to pivot the camera around, yeah it's quite a tidy thing, okay. Right, and then we've got the deep bases because the um, the cables are on the outside, so we want to uh, we need access for the cables. So we'll just have a look at this. So again, here's the deep base. You've got an entry point there. You've got a nice padded base, and then you've got all the numbers here for the various cameras to sit on. So that's that's a nice IP rated base there. That looks pretty good. Let's get that out of the way. Right, so then we've got the DVR. So this is an eight channel DVR, uh, five megapixel. So let's have a look at this. Okay. So quick start guide there, batteries. Got the RJ45 internet cable, we've got power adapter, we've got HDMI lead, remote control, we've got a mouse as well to control the hard drive, and then the main power pack there. It's quite a, quite a chunky thing there. And then this is the DVR. Just get that out. Stuck on well there. So that's the front there, looks quite good. It's got the QWERTY uh, barcode on there for setting it up, it looks like. So then you've got the LAN ports there, eight in total. Um, you've got your VGA, you've got your HDMI, your power, power in. Yeah, it's quite a nice small small bit of kit. Yeah, hopefully that'll, that'll do well. We'll uh, go, in, go about installing it now. Hi, so we're back again now. So we're, we're looking now to fit the cameras onto the walls on the outside. Uh, so I've already fitted the, the Cat6 cable around the house, so when we rewired this property uh, we put the data cables in at the same time, so that made sense to make it a nice neat installation. So uh, now we're going to start with the, the deep base, put that on first and then get the camera mounted uh, and then we'll go around and uh, get them all fitted. Okay, so we'll make a start now with the Allen key uh, and we'll just uh, get the top undone. And then we'll go about getting that screwed onto the wall then. And because the camera, because the, uh, the cable's coming through the back, I've basically moved the knockout from the uh, from the back to the side. So that'll just keep it watertight. And it comes with an Allen key as well, so you can just uh, loosen them off eventually. All right, so that's come away now from the base. So we'll just uh, we'll just pop that down for a second. And we'll go about getting this fitted now. So we'll have a look, see what uh, holes we need to make. We we'll get this nice and level now. And hopefully, we'll get a good fixing. I'm just going to do two fixings here out of the four, because that should be fine. So you can see there we've got our two marks. There previously was a junction box here, but unfortunately it won't. Uh, won't cover the holes. So we've got to drill new holes. Okay. And we can 
get these drilled. Should be enough. We've just got our screws and roll plugs now, we'll just get them in there. Then we tap. Get that base screwed on now. Right, so that's securely on now. So we just need to now make off the end. We've just got some RJ45 connectors now. So I'll just strip that back and get that connected and we can uh, get the camera plugged in. Right, so we just put the end on now, so we're now gonna get this uh, lined up and put the camera on the front and connect it up. And hopefully that'll be it for this one. Right, so there's a little groove there where that comes out and that releases that section. So now we can screw the base onto the appropriate numbers on here. We need to remove the rubber, put that back through there. Get the camera lined up. And just tighten that locking screw back up a little bit. And then that now can be fixed back to there. We can plug that in. Hopefully. So now we've just got to get all that back into there. Just curl that up nicely. And now you've got that on, you can move this round to the right direction. So we won't know if this is the right way until we do the other end, but we'll just get this something like. And then we can play with that afterwards when we go inside. Okay, so that's it for that one. That looks pretty good. So we'll move on to the next one now. Okay. Right, so now we're looking to fit one of these cameras, but without the base, because uh, we don't need it for this, because we're just going straight onto the wood and the connections are going straight in, uh, in the dry, and then I'll, I'll look at tidying them up afterwards. So this will literally just go on there, nice, nice little small unit on there. So we'll just go about connecting that, making the RJ45 off again on this Cat6, uh, plug it straight in, and then we'll just wood screw straight in. So we'll just do that now. Now we'll just connect it up and put the slack back into the garage. Hopefully. I've drilled a 25mm hole, so that should give you enough to uh, get the cables behind there. And just reattach this, line it up with that, take it around. And again, just leave that loose for obviously setting it up at the DVR end, and then uh, that's it really. That's a nice little unit. Okay.
Right, so we're just doing another one of these now. We've got another deep base just to go onto the brickwork first. So I'm just removing this uh, from here. I'll put it back in, it's actually in the right place. So we're bringing the cable through the back. So uh, we'll just block that entry up. We'll just use a small Allen key just to release that. And then you've got the base there. So we'll just offer that up and see what uh, fixings we need to do. Right, so now we can get the camera back on. So again, just undo the uh, locking pin to get the base separated. Now we can mount the base of that onto there with the screws provided. Take the middle out so, so you can pass the cables through. This is probably a better way of doing it is to get the base on first and then you can pass the cables through afterwards. That's it. Connect the camera now to your RJ45, make sure that's in properly. Try and get these wires back now into the base. Just gently. Just work them round. That's it. Now get your front back on. Align it up, that's it. And then again, just put this slightly loose until you can set it up the other end of the DVR. And then we'll see what direction that's pointing in. Okay, that's all done, we'll go inside. <clears throat> Right, so here we are now, we're on, we're on the inside. Uh, we've basically got three of the seven cameras at the minute with the uh, RJ45Ns on. So we're just gonna get them connected, get all the various leads connected. I'll just run, run that through now. Uh, so we've got the router here. So we've got a small lead that will then plug into the DVR. So I'll just plug that in. So that goes into the relevant slots. Then we've got the, uh, the power supply that's already there. Plug that in. 
Then we've got the HDMI lead that just goes down to the, uh, the ESP monitor there. So that's ready. Nice tight fit. And then, like I say, we've got the three cameras now, so we can put them in whichever order to your preference, really. Uh, I'll just go from one to three for now and see what order they come in. And then you've also got the mouse as well, so we'll get that plugged into the uh, USB. Try and fight with these cables now to get them back. So I'll tidy this up later. Right. So now we're down onto the uh, onto the screen now. Yeah, I want to change resolution. Not sure. Yes. Right, so now it uh, basically sends you to the password. So uh, just put a new uh, password in. Let's see, just for now, I'll just uh, put a generic, just my name for now, just for the purposes. Press enter. I'll confirm the password. Okay, so I'm gonna apply that. Save successful. Password in again. Right, so here we are. So we've got the wizard. So that's something we'll have to look at in a bit more depth. The uh, the time and date and everything's already set up, so it must have an internal setting, which is good. It shows you the IP address and the location of the cameras, so you can see there we've got three at the moment. That shows you the hard drive and the resolution outputs. And then that's for the mobile app, which we'll look at shortly. Okay, so we'll have a look at that. Right, so we just uh, download the uh, the app now, which is the ESP IP app, not to be confused with the uh, HD app. So now if we go for system information, um, add device on the on the app, just click the plus scan the code that'll come up and then just put the uh, password in that you've already uh, you've already put to the device press save and then it will say connecting and then now it says connected which is fine as you can see now these are on And there's your single view and then you can just go in between the cameras and then like i say you can go outside now and do some fine adjustment on exactly where you are put that on the top of your steps and away you go um yeah that's that's it really that's a that's a brief uh, nice and simple way of doing it uh, just make sure again in the settings that the uh, the plug and play is enabled and well, that's it all right, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, just an electrician installing this system for the first time. Uh, all gone well. Um, yeah, I okay, hope you can join us for another ESP video. All the links in the description below. And uh, if you want to know a bit more about me, you can follow me on Twitter at Anslow Electric. Okay, see you soon. Thank you.